back today. All right, cool. So these shoes or these shoes? Okay. These shoes or these shoes? Yeah, okay. We've got these shoes and these shoes. Man, Coach is tripping today. Luckily, I got a Nike shoe for every workout. What's good, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of Kingsley TV. My name is Aaron Kingsley Brown. I post videos about the track and field experience. My life as a professional sprinter, so if you vibe with that, consider hitting that subscribe button. Join me on the way to 10,000 subscribers. I'm back again with another shoe video. This time, I'm going over my picks for what I'll wear for every training scenario you have in track and field. And as always, there'll be purchase links down in the description box below if you want to cop. But let's go ahead and get into this list. The first training category we're gonna go over is short speed. Basically any kind of explosive workout where you're running 30 meter excels, 60 meter runs, 100 meter runs, basically anything 150 meters down. And for that, my pick is a Nike Pegasus Turbo Next Natures. I like this shoe because it basically locks your foot in place, gives you that great stability and enough cushioning so that you don't feel like you're absorbing too much of that contact from that explosive workout. The style of this shoe is very nice. It pops, got some bright colors going on, which was very good for your explosive workouts. You wanna look good on the track. You got that herringbone pattern going down the side of the shoe. And of course that Nike Zoom X bottom is sure to absorb all the contact make you feel nice and springy going down the track. The next category is gonna be all purpose. So basically anytime you go into a workout, you have no idea what you're about to do, you gotta be ready for anything. You want a shoe that's adaptable for any type of workout. And for that pick, you can go with the Nike React Infinity Run 3s. I find that this shoe is a great all-purpose shoe that can go in any scenario because it has that perfect combination of lightweight flexibility and stability and cushioning. And it's just feels really good on your foot. It's stylish, it pops. You know, you got that purple going on, that mauve purple that's really loud and on the track will attract a lot of people who are watching you. And you can pretty much do any type of workout in these. You can do sprints, you can do your drills, you can do your bounds, you can do your hurdle hops, any type of exercise you could think of, you can do it in these shoes. Another shoe that you can also use besides these Nike Epic React Fly Knit Runs is these Nike Pegasus 39s. These are another shoe that if you want to go with the second choice, this is also a great pick. Very stable, very good cushioning, good support, great performing shoe, great for your all-purpose runs. The next category is when you're doing grass workouts. So when you're heavy into fall training, running around the grass, doing those long interval runs, you need a nice lightweight shoe to get you around the grass. And for that pick, I'm gonna go with the Nike Zoom X Street Flies. This colorway in particular, got that nice Charizard orange that pops, you know, it looks fire on the track, literally fire. They're very lightweight, very stable. They lock in your foot. It's not like the Nike Zoom Streak LTs where you kind of slip around because you don't have as much traction. These are very lightweight, but have enough stability that'll get you through that workout. The next category is gonna be your long tempo runs where you're going around the track. Think 250 to about 350 and up when you're going and getting that volume in and you're training. And for that pick, I'm gonna once again go with the Nike Zoom X Street Flies because these are a perfect performing shoe that'll get you not only around in the grass, but also on the track. They're great to go the distance and get that heavy volume in. And also another pick that you can consider it's the Nike Vaporfly Next Percents for the same reasons. These will lock you in, give you that stability. Got that nice Zoom X bottom. Both of these are great performing shoes that'll go the distance. This next category is gonna be explosive runs. So think bounding, hurdle drills, sprint drills, all that explosive movements that short sprinters do to get you really explosive and elastic on the track. And for that pick, I'm gonna go with the Nike Invincible Run 2s. These have a lot of cushioning. Like you look at that right there, that's max cushioning right there. And that's gonna absorb all that force that you're putting into the track. Make sure that you're not putting too much load on your body when you're going down the track, doing heavy workouts, getting that sprint speed that you need to get out the blocks and explode. Another shoe that you can consider is a Zoom Fly 5s for the exact same reason. If you look at these, got a very big sole, a lot of cushioning and padding there that'll make you feel very nice and will absorb all that force that you're putting in. Get max output out of your training sessions and make sure that you become a sprinter that you need for the season. That was my five picks for best Nike running shoes for different scenarios on and off the track. But I got a bonus one for you guys. This is when you're doing weightlifting and you're in the gym, lifting those heavy weights and you wanna make sure that you're squatting, you wanna be flat footed so you're not overextending yourself, making sure you have good posture, doing those Olympic lifts and all that good stuff. And for that, grab you a pair of Metcons. 
These will keep you flat-footed, make sure that your posture is good, your technique's good. That's the best way to stave off injury and make sure that you're performing at a high level. So far in this video, we went over my picks for best Nike running shoes for different training scenarios. Comment below which shoes you would use for your workouts in 2023. And as always, purchase links down in the description box below. If you want to check out my best Nike running shoes video for 2022, then click this link right here. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel and join me on the way to 10,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.